Hey, how's it going? I'm Fabian and welcome back. Today I'm going to talk about making music with an analog tape recorder. There's many different techniques that you can use when making music with a tape recorder, uh, such as you can turn it into a tape echo or do use a tape loop on it, but that very much depends on the type of tape recorder that you have. Not all will be compatible with that. So today in this video, we're just gonna focus on recording and then playing back. The good thing about that is that it doesn't matter which tape recorder you have, they all record and then play back. However, it would be great if you did have some control over the speed on your tape recorder uh, so you can slow it down after. This is a technique that is often used. So you record something and then you slow it down half speed and you can really create some interesting sounds. All right, so to start off, we're gonna record and then go out at the same time. And I do this if I wanna add a little bit of tape crunch to a sound. You need to have an output from your recorder and then you can if you have a mixer you can put that into a separate track in your mixer which what i do and then i can just blend in and out the tape how i want it it can add a really interesting dynamic you can make it really subtle or you can make it really obvious and have it overdriving and just tape crunchiness uh, which is also great if you want that sort of sound mm. So now we're going to record and then play back after uh, and then on the playback I'm going to try and improvise something over the top. Uh, this is again it's just a really simple and basic way of using this. Uh, it's just like a recorder, you're recording and then playing back and improvising over the top. Right, so now we're going to try changing the speed so I'm going to record something into the recorder and then slow it down to half speed and when you're doing this you've got to think about what you're recording because when you slow it half speed obviously it's going to be an octave lower so try and record something a little higher than you would usually so you got to think about how it's going to sound and what you're going to play over the top when you play it back so I'm just going to do some really simple single notes on the lap steel, uh, record it onto there and then play it back half speed and then I'll improvise over the top.
Okay, so now we're gonna try and put the output of the tape recorder in through some guitar pedals. This is just another way of messing with the sound and trying to create something different. It does lose a little bit of that high crunchiness, that tape sound, but it makes it a lot more subtle. You can really make it a lot more distant and, and less harsh this way. So we're just gonna try it. We're gonna put it through a delay and reverb pedal. All right, so now I'm gonna play some simple chords and record it straight into the tape recorder. And then I'm gonna play it back half speed and put it through some pedals. And then I'm probably gonna play some acoustic guitar over the top and we'll see how it sounds. So hopefully you're a little bit inspired to start making music with tape. Let me know what you thought in the comments below. If you do me a huge favor, if you like the video, give it a thumbs up. It really helps these videos get to more people. Thanks so much for watching as always, and I'll see you in the next one.